Described as the ultimate sports challenge on its packaging, Sports Champions is a modest but varied collection of sports games that puts the new PlayStation Move motion controllers to good use. While most none of the included games are obvious choices for inclusion in a collection that boasts only six different sports, but they're all fun. And while most are certainly best enjoyed with friends, there's a good amount of single player content as well. Like Nintendo's Wii Sports before it, Sports Champions is a game that successfully shows off the capabilities of the motion controller it's played with and which you're likely to return to time and time again. The six sports on offer are disc golf, beach volleyball, archery, table tennis, bocce, and gladiator duel. All can be played using only one motion controller, but realistically you're going to want at least two so that you can play with better controls for some of the games and take advantage of the multiplayer options. It's fun to play against increasingly tough AI opponents in the Champions Cup mode, but there's really no substitute for human competition. All six sports are of comparable quality, but you're inevitably going to have favorites and perhaps even an event or two that you're not really into. Bocce, for example, is one that you're likely to keep coming back to, not only because it's one of the easiest to pick up for friends and relatives, but also because there are plenty of different courts for you to play on. Not all of them are fun, but when all else fails, you can always play in the park where benches, barbecues, and other obstacles keep things interesting. Gladiator Duel, on the other hand, probably isn't a game that you're going to get your grandparents playing. It works in much the same way as a traditional fighting game, except that the combatants' fighting styles just mirror your own movements. Swing your motion controller down low, and you might hit your opponent's ankle, for example. Swing it harder, and there's a good chance you'll knock their feet out from under them, setting you up for a jumping attack. This particular game is best played with two motion controllers so that you can have one for your weapon and a second for your shield. But it works pretty well with just one, which is what most of you will probably end up using in split-screen multiplayer. <laughs> Disc Golf and Archery are both fun events that benefit from having some decent variety in their courses and challenges. In Disc Golf, the challenge comes not only from being able to throw a disc straight or around corners when necessary, but also from figuring out how to avoid water hazards and such. There are no canned throwing animations, so you're free to throw forehand or backhand, which is a nice touch. You can even throw the disc upside down if you really want to, simply by rotating the motion controller in your hand. Archery works just as well with one motion controller as it does with two, and involves the same simple movements either way. Challenges are played against the clock, which works well, because actually aiming your shots isn't difficult and becomes much more interesting when you have to do it in a hurry. Archery works especially well in multiplayer, because you both get to shoot simultaneously and must often decide which targets to shoot at in order to hamper your opponent. The archery variant of tic-tac-toe works extremely well, for example, and in another game, you have the option to temporarily erect a wall in front of your opponent's target by shooting a bonus target that appears randomly. Table tennis is an enjoyable take on the sport, with exaggerated spin and smash shots that really add to the challenge against late game AI opponents. The controls work exactly as you'd expect them to, and the game's only shortcoming is that it never really changes. Similarly, beach volleyball is always played on a regular court, so although the scenery changes from match to match, the gameplay never does. Sports Champion's take on beach volleyball actually gets old pretty quickly because since you don't move your character yourself, all you really do is move your arms to serve, set, spike, dig, or block the ball. You're also prompted to flick a motion controller left or right to dive in that direction when the ball is out of reach, which adds to the feeling that you spend most of your time reacting to cues that aren't much more subtle than those in rhythm games. Sports Champions does a great job of teaching you how to play all six of its sports via tutorials that are offered as you progress through the Champions Cup mode or can select at any time. Its presentation is nothing to write home about, but this is undoubtedly one of the strongest launch offerings for the PlayStation Move hardware. This isn't a game that you're likely to play solo for any serious amount of time, but it's certainly one that you'll keep coming back to in short bursts and any time you have interested friends or relatives visiting.